Welcome to Baltimore, Maryland. We get ready to wrap up week eight of the PLL and sole possession of second place in the league on the line. It's Water Dogs, it's Cannons. We're at Homewood Field on the campus of Johns Hopkins University. Yes, a Cannons team that won one game a year ago, now just a game out of first place. There's Matt Cavanaugh, gets the pick, bounces with his left hand, and Cannons with the opening tally. A lot of times in the sport of lacrosse, you talk about assists from a passing perspective. This is an assist from a pick perspective. Look at the pick by Donville right there. Perfect timing to allow Kavanaugh to continue upfield for a better angle. And the best part about this for me is Kavanaugh starting to play with a little bit of confidence. Tough shooting year last year. He's had a bunch of great games this year. And to see him come out first possession, get top side. Malone, lefty. lefty. Here comes McArdle. Turns the corner. And with the left hand, he scores. It's a scramble. Donville loads up. Save DeLuca going low. So much in terms of separation. He can unleash both hands. Yeah, that guy's pretty good, too. Sowers, you saw that quick first step. Midfielder of the year. A rookie. Conrad setting the pick. Feed to the middle. Sowers, too easy. When you watch Michael Sowers play, you often talk about how quick he is, his ability to break a defender down behind the goal. This time, it's Kieran McArdle driving upfield. Michael Sowers moving off ball, letting you know there's more to his game than Dodger from X. The Water Dogs are rolling. Offensive half. Connor Kelly Ooh. has it stick checked away. Calls turnovers. Nolting up top. Holman! Dragon fire from Marcus Holman! Find some gems. That's what Brian Holman did. He only had two draft picks this offseason. Undrafted, underrated no more. Ethan Rawl making his presence felt in the PLL, giving the highest scoring offense in the league an opportunity with a higher gun in Marcus Holman. This starts with a hard downs down the, down the alley, throw the ball forward. Marcus fades to that backside, and he ain't missing a step down. Put Courier at faceoffs. This is what can happen. Connor Kelly rattled. Multiple oh, flags down. down. Now a player down. Behind the back shot. Have to double shift. Water Dogs on the power play. Inside to Sowers. Kyle, you called it earlier. He can dust you from X, but he's also sneaky, dangerous off ball. And that's an incredible look from, I think it was Kieran McCardo looking cross crease to Michael Sowers for a touch pass there into the goal. He's got the IQ. His father, David, was his coach growing up in multiple sports. When you're a coach's son, you can be as dynamic as you want with the ball, but off the ball, you're cerebral, you're finding seams. And then that's the one timer. The quick stick, too, pass on the last two. And both have gone to Sowers. Wayne. McCardle shot saved by Kirst. Final seconds of this power play. Nolting shot saved by Bill. Over to Kavanaugh. Now Holman gets the pick from Drenner. Right back to Drenner. Let's it go and scores. Now the old give and go. If you watch the Cannons play offense, matchup. Fires, hits the body of Kirst, who covers it up. Can't get free from Scarpello. Finds Holman inside. Smash and cash. Here is Drenner. Uh, he's got a rocket of a shot. And it's 5-3 Cannons. Also perspective to see the game differently, right? Through the lens of, of the opposition for Zed Williams, right? He's an attackman playing defense. Donville dodging against Scarpello and he beats him. Went right, was shut off, went to the left and found a seam. 
Just the patience of the Cannons offense. This started three passes earlier. Just getting the defense moving, trying to get to the right angle. Donville gets the ball in the spot that he likes to dodge from. Works to get underneath here. It moves. One more. And now they allow Donville to get to his area of the field. He's patient on the dodge. Waits. And a twister high bouncer. That's wild. Look, great ball movement always opens up dodging. The last thing you want to do when you're playing in a pro league. Set. McCardle! Low to high with some cheese. Kieran McCardle is not backing down. The Water Dogs have four goals. He's involved in each and every one. You look at his dominance over the last year. PLL champion. Led the league in assists a season ago. Team USA, higher gun. In Baltimore this weekend, it's high heat. Back to the live action, 6-4 cannons. Oh, great feed inside. McCardle to Sowers. Again, those two have been the offense for Water Dogs. They've had a hand in all five Water Dog goals. And they're just flipping the script, Anisha. It's crazy because on one play, it's Sowers who's feeding. On the next play, it's McCardle. And this is what a two-quarterback system gives you. It gives you flexibility to move guys around. But today, it's Michael Sowers, the crease finisher. Yeah, and there's so much deception on this play. To carry the look away, and then Sowers, as he receives that ball, gentle glance down, keeps the shot. Here's McCardle. Beats his man all by himself, draws the flag, as the kids say, and one. I think it's going to be wiped out. I think that was a hold on McCardle. Yeah, might be. There's a cannons foul on the play, a hold that gets wiped out. Good goal, all even face off. There's some debate on this, Carter. Both teams thought the other guy was holding him. Yeah, you see, oh, no, that, to, to uh, me, uh, that's come pretty on. obvious. He's lucky he's got a hold. That's the biggest ward I've ever seen. It's a ward, but it's also a mugging by Wayne. I mean, he's, he's grabbing him with his free hand. Over to Walker. If the Water Dogs have scored today, Kieran McCardle's been a part of it. That's Jack Hanna. And the Water Dogs take the lead at 7-6. It's their first lead since it was 3-2, and that's four unanswered for Andy Copeland's team. I think Jack Hanna has about as much upside as any young midfielder in the PLL. Second year pro, can get a shot off on anyone. He's two-handed, has some box lacrosse background where he likes the body, but he has the speed and power to shred it. And he's able to play with someone in his hands. If you take a look, Defender still on that bottom arm, able to shoot through it and fight to on get the ground. Him. Loose ball picked up by the Water Dogs. Curse. How did you say it? He does look like Bocklet. Yeah, I mean he's just all the over same the way. field. Yes. You look Roll at him, was like, calling ah. for it. Roll was open instead. Nolting buries it. Tied at seven. Quick restart. Here's Holman. Van Raphorst. <laughs> Cranks, fires, scores from two! A hundred and seven miles per hour. He's a guy when he played for the Atlas, along with CJ Costabile, Mike Earhart, and Jared Newman, the biggest threats with the pole from deep. Marcus Holman with the quick restart, the IQ to understand it's time to go. Van Raphorst follows a giddy up 107 turn and rake to Set up his footwork and give himself a you know a good shot for two, as we saw with CJ Costabile and Cade Van Raphorst. Knowlton got the right hand free and cashes it in. Asher Knowlton makes it 10-7. Every game that passes, Asher Knowlton gets a Play little catch. Alban's got two goals today. Now Knowlton to Matt Kavanaugh. Penthouse Parm. 
with a little glaze of legalized marinara. Now you defend the two. We've seen crazier things happen in the PLL. Here's Sowers. He's got a short stick matchup. Crease feed. And the finish. That's Matt Wincher. Defenders draped around him, and he scores. Witcher has found opportunities to be a goal scorer as a short stick D midi. This time, quite frankly, I think Michael Sowers force feeds him. How he holds on to this ball, who knows? But the Water Dogs are sensing some life in Homewood. Here. Two timeouts. Coach Holman will stalk the officials. Stop right. Hot here, hot here. Gotta help, gotta help, gotta help. Here comes Donville, over to Campbell, goal cannons, and it is a four goal margin. For the great Kyle Harrison, for Quint Kesnick, for Paul Carcaterra, for our entire ESPN crew, Ivan Ishraf, the weekend ends with cannons taking down Water Dogs. Final score, 12-8. That does it for the PLL in Baltimore. Week nine, the PLL goes to Denver. We'll see you in the Mile High City.